Today I'm going to show you how to make a bookmark. Before I start, uh, please could you subscribe to my channel because that really helps me and hit like so that YouTube shows this to more people. And please tell your friends about these videos if you find them useful. So we're going to start not in Canva, but in a site called Banana Print. Okay. This is Banana Print. It is a online printer, so you can print things. So we're going to go to their website and then try bookmarks. And these are the bookmarks that they make. So the size of them is 52 millimeters by 142 millimeters when they are printed out. But what we need is how much it would be with the bleed size as well. So let's just do that. And what we're getting, trying to get to upload your design and artwork size guide. So we need it to be 58 millimeters by 154 millimeters with the bleed. So a bleed is just a extra bit of image so that if your image wiggles a little bit on the printer, you don't end up cutting off something important from your design. So the difference between that and the actual document is six millimeters, which means that the bleed is three millimeters on every side. Okay, now this is relevant because we're gonna to go to here, create design, custom size, 58 millimeters by 154 millimeters. Yep, that's with the bleed, that's fine. That's what we want. So we're gonna create that. Okay, so now you have a document that's the right shape. There are lots of templates and everything that you can use, but we're not going to use those. So the first thing we're going to do is to put in the parameters for the bleed. So we're going to go to lines and shapes, pick a square or a rectangle. Come on, where's my square gone? There we go, there's my square. Um, and if you get the square from the lines and shapes, you can pull it into the right shape. So we're going to pull it into the right shape. There we go. And then we're going to give it a border. So click on border style. It's going to have one of those. The border weights about maybe we'll go for 12. We'll adjust it in a minute. Okay. And then we're going to make the center transparent. Okay. So now you have a frame. And we go to file. View settings, make sure guides and rulers is ticked on. I've just turned it off. Silly me. There we go. Let's stick it back on. And then we're going to zoom in. We need the thing on the edge to be three millimeters. Okay. One, two, uh, that's about three millimeters. But if you needed to change it, you go onto border weight and just move it up and down. So that will be a hundred and six millimeter bleed. There you go, that's about three millimeters. Maybe not, maybe a little smaller than that. Just change it manually to thirteen. One, two. Three. No, I still need it smaller than that. Twelve. Yeah. Okay. So right. So we need to make sure that all the important bits stay within this frame. Now this frame is just going to get in the way when we're designing. So what I'm going to do is move it to the side of it, just so that we can still find it to pull it back. All right. Now then, I know what I want in my image. It should include my book. So we go to uploads. You should have already uploaded your book cover image. There we go, picture perfect. Drag and drop. About there, make it a little bit bigger maybe. There, okay. And then because my book cover image is fairly modern and blocky, I wanted the bookmark to reflect that. So I'm gonna turn the background to a bright color. Now, if you look here, you've got some photo colors. So Canva has just pulled out colors from the image. So I'm gonna use that yellow. 
but I actually think it would look better if we use this yellow, which is in the writing, rather than this yellow, which is in her top. So to do that, to you click on background color, and this multicolored square here lets you change the color. Um, if you are working on an iPad, you get a tiny little eyedropper tool here, which is really good because you just hover over the color you want to, to pick. But I don't have it because I'm working on the web version. So I'm just going to slide this until by eye, I think it looks roughly the same as. There you go, that looks about right. Um, so that it's it's more like this paler yellow. And then I wanted to put uh, another sort of slice type image. So go lines and shapes, triangle, tilt it. Now I'm using big blocky shapes because that's what the, my book cover looks like. If you've got more swirly things, you can add swirly images. Um, so that it is in keeping with your book cover. All right, I'm going to give that bright pink. And I'm going to send that position backwards. There we go. All right, that's the basis of my image. I quite like that. Maybe make this go up a bit. You go to edit image, shadows. So you have to scroll down to see all the different things you can do. But there you go. Shadows, drop shadow. Okay, let's zoom in a bit to check that it still looks okay. Yeah, it looks okay. If you if you look at these sliders here, you can change the angle, you can change the color of the shadow, and uh, you can change the transparency of the shadow, and you can change how how deep your shadow is. So if you do that, you get a really big shadow. We'll go back to being two because that's a good size. Okay. Then I also want, let's just quickly put this frame back. Check that everything we want is inside the frame. Position forward. Yeah, nothing important in the, in the inside, outside the frame. That's good. All right. Then I'm going to put a quote in. So text box. What I'm going to do actually is I'm going to copy and paste a couple of quotes in. I'll be right back. Okay. What I've done is I've copied and pasted two quotes of my NetGalley reviews. So, first of all, let's give this a good color that's picked out from my cover image. So that's blue. That's a good one. And that one is also done that blue. Now, then. now that's just Canva Sans, which is a normal, um, which is the default font that you get. But let's give it, if you look at this font, it's sans serif, so it hasn't got any flicky bits at the bottom of the letters. And it's kind of uh, less rounded than Canva Sans. So I did a bit of research and Baybus New is probably the closest that I can get. And it automatically turns things into uppercase, which is nice. Another way that you can turn things into uppercase, actually, randomly, is you, if you click on this AA uppercase button, it turns everything into uppercase for you, which is quite nice, useful. Anyway, maybe that's new. Right. And then I need to tell people where this came from. So, NetGalley. Let's make this a bit bigger, make this a bit smaller, and I want to add five stars. So let's go to elements, search five stars. The, grab the free one, which has no crown on it. This is quite nice because you can change the color. Now I want these stars to be the same pink as in the book cover. So we'll choose that. Makes them easier to see as well. Get that there. Might need to make them a bit smaller. And then line them up with the top of the word net galley there. And we'll turn the net galley pink as well. 
select those two. Just drag to select. Oh, it selected all three things. Rats. The other way is you click on it, you click shift and you click that and then let go of shift. Now I want to copy this. So control C, control V, copies and pastes it. And I will drag this down to here. Okay. That's, let's go zoom back out. That looks okay. Now I wanted to put in a QR code here. So I'm just going to make some space. A little bit smaller. There you go. Right. So to get the QR code. So what a QR code is, is you know what a QR code is. You scan it on your phone and it um, takes you to the right website. Okay. So you go to apps and you can just put in search QR code. Mine's there, it's in the popular because I use it a lot. I'm going to use a URL, which is a books to read link. I like these because it includes all of the different stores. So um, not just Amazon, Apple and Kobo and Barnes and Noble and all the rest of it. Um, so you can sign up for an account with books to read.com. It's free and you, then you can make these. So this URL is where I want to send people and generate QR code and it'll appear on my design. And then I can resize the QR code if I want to, which I do want to, because it's a bit big. And put it in the right place. So now if somebody picks up your bookmark, um, they can just scan the QR code and go and find the book. Let's just check that everything is within the frame. It is, okay. Now we're going to select this frame and we're going to delete it. And there you have one side of your bookmark. What I did was I made two of these, one for each book. And so that's the front and that's the back. And I saved them as two separate files called front and back. And then I went to banana print and uploaded front there, back there, and then um, ordered it. As always, if you find these tutorials useful, uh, like and subscribe and tell your friends. And if there's anything you would like me to show you how to do, pop a comment in and I will pull out any requests out of the comments and I will show you, do you a walkthrough just like this one. Show me your bookmarks when you've designed them because I love seeing these. Thank you.